Um, anyway, can I just remind you the um, specification for this evening? Any urban la location is allowed, city or town. Architecture and reportage are likely to be popular in this round. If you wish, your images might include water, people and activities as well as buildings and structures. But it will be important that the urban setting comes across clearly. Okay, so that's the specification. Um, I encourage you to interrupt, make jokes, barrack, do whatever you like. It's supposed to be a bit of fun, okay? Okay, I'll, un I'll unmute myself then. Graffiti in Manau. In Manau. Well, here we are because you only get street art and graffiti really in towns and cities. It's not so popular in the countryside because there's very little to paint on. So this is, uh, where's Manau? Is it Spain? Uh, no, Asia. It? Croatia. Asia. Asia. Right. Yeah. Isn't that Spanish? Isn't that Spanish? Um, yeah, right? water. Water. Agua. So this is a lovely piece. Now, I think that street art and graffiti is enhanced if you can get somebody passing who interacts with it or appears to interact with it or, even better, doesn't know they're inter interacting with it but makes it very funny. And that's kind of maybe one dimension short here. But there's no doubt that it's an urban landscape. It's beautifully crisp. It's beautifully sharp. The colours are great, whether they're the artists or not. We have got that old cliche, it's somebody else's art, but nevertheless, the photographer saw it, took it, exposed the picture perfectly, uh, and I think it makes a very pleasing image. Are we, are we, are we voting on these now? Or? Yeah. Yes, we are. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. I missed the last one, I think. The last. Uh, right. Right, Joan, I've got a thing that says launch poll. Is that what I need? Yes, I think so and hope so. Oh, right. Is anybody getting that? Yeah, I've got it. I've got got it. Get to say yes or no and submit. Okay, right. Okay. We've got everybody on there. So... Now, if I do end poll, will that come up with the result? Say again? If I do end poll, does that come up with the result? Do end poll, and it will stop anybody who hasn't already input doing anything. Okay. And then you should get an option. Yeah. Right, there's our results. So this, this one is going to go through to the thingy. Right, it's a picture. It is a good picture, though. Are you okay with that, Sue? Yeah, no, I've got press. Uh, oh, uh, it's different to the. Oh, oops. Um, <laughs> no, I don't want to leave the meeting. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't leave the meeting. <laughs> I'll get it to move on to the next. Oh, there it is. Little boxes. Oh, uh, mm, right. Okay. Uh, so this is a. Um, this is a fantastic urban scene, is it not? It could be almost any any city in the UK, I, su I suggest. Terraces of houses, occasional trees. It's taken from a very high viewpoint, which could be a tower block or, or just a distant hill or a helicopter or a balloon or anything else. But it's a, a great picture of urban sprawl. Um, it's not a pretty sight. It doesn't fire the uh, endorphins in my brain but technically it's good it's got an interesting light um, it's a snapshot of a piece of urban development in the UK um, and from that point of view at least it complies with the specification whether it's the prettiest picture you'll ever see I don't know but it's well seen and well taken okay okay Oh, hang on. Rick, <laughs> you've got to relaunch, I think. Yeah, okay. There we um, go. 
And I think that's everybody. So, report, share results. Okay. okay. Scrape it out. Sharing. And did you get that soon? Oh. Um, that was a no. Yeah, but I don't score on Dicentra. I think. Uh, I think um, Jan's scoring. We just hold back, don't we? The, the scores aren't really all that yeah, important. Yeah, you hold back the ones that get over... Oh, right. 60%. 60%, 60%. 60%. 60%. 60%. 60%. 60%. 60%. 60%. 60%. 60%. 60%. 60%. 60%. 60%. 60%. 60%. 60%. 60%. 60%. 60%. 60%. 60%. 60
so that's nice. It's nice and sharp. Um, I never really much like loads of cars in a, in a shop, but they're they're there, and there's not much you can do about it. Right. Okay. Uh, now, hold on a minute. Uh, I'm trying to relaunch this. Relaunch. And then continue. There we go. That should be it. <laughs> Right, uh, there should be one more, or perhaps not. Everybody finished? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right, and that's another no. There's not going to be a top dog this time. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be a bit, a bit long <laughs> the final of this round. Perfect. It didn't lend itself to artistic right. interpretation, this subject, I'm afraid. So what was Car this one for? Carcassonne. So Carcassonne. So I'm, I'm, I'm impressed that the author here took this, took the uh, the definition of the urban landscape and took it back a few hundred years, because after all, it's not a modern, it's not, it's not a modern phenomenon, is it? It goes back a very long time. And here we have an interesting comparison of relatively new and relatively old. Um, compositionally, there's a lot of blue sky that doesn't do much and a lot of detail at the bottom that's chopped off. So I'm, I, might have, I might have enjoyed the picture more if it had been tilted down slightly, so a bit less sky. Uh, the, the juxtaposition of new and old could have had the traffic at the bottom compared with the medieval castling at the top. I haven't been sent to the letterbox it. I think, it's, I think it's also slightly overexposed. Uh, but nevertheless, it's um, in terms of the theme, it's an interesting observation in of, uh, of urban development, albeit very much older than contemporary. That's me. Okay. Anyone else? I, I would have letterboxed it personally, taken off the sky and the bit at the bottom at the moment uh, as well. So you've just got the bit in the middle. And I think I'm, I'm trying to do it here in my, in my screen. I think it works. I think it, I think it makes it stronger. I, th I think or if... perhaps take, take it in on the left to get less of that fairly bland building. Mm. Yeah, perhaps that as well, actually. Yeah. I, I think if it was me, just... just my comments the, the two black dots are probably are probably birds but they look as if they could be sensor spots which is uh -huh. a, which is a bit of a you know i think i might have taken those out even if they are real i think i would have cut a little bit off the top but what what i think grates on me a little and i try not to do it myself is is the bottom line actually chops the bottom of the shops off the bottom of the cars off and and mm. i think yeah it, it either needs to come higher up or it needs to go lower down um I, I'm just mm. conscious when I cut things in half, people want to see the bit that's missing. Mm. People Especially always want their to see feet. <laughs> Especially their feet, Steve, yeah. Right, has everybody voted? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're a hard lot. Uh, yeah, but... <laughs> yeah. Show it's not the Brexit vote. <laughs> yeah. Skyline Panorama. So this is, uh, this is the uh, docks at Liverpool where the art galleries and museums are. It's great if you can go up there. I've been there and it's absolutely super now. Um, I love the presentation in terms of the letterbox. We haven't got too much sky and we haven't got too much water. Um, they say you shouldn't have writing in a picture unless it's absolutely crisp and 
sharp and this definitely and clearly is. It complies with the specification perfectly. Certainly on the left, there's nothing chopped up. Um, it's, a, it's a classic view, I think, it will be a classic view. I think that's the customs house in the middle there, the red brick building. Yeah. So that's, and in the background, the cathedral, is it? I just think yeah. that this is a super shop. Um, it's a shame that the weather was what it was on the day because it would have been an even better image, a stronger image if we'd had a bit of sky. I don't know if you can find some um, detail in the sky with one of those jiggery pokery clever things on uh, on the software you can get, but um, it's a shame the sky is so bland and so white. But aside from that, I think this is a uh, you know nicely presented, complies with the spec. Uh, it's a it's a good shot of Liverpool, uh, and I think it's a pretty good attempt. Yeah, that's me. I like this one. The leather box certainly works. It does. It does. It's well. It's well handled. I don't actually mind the sky not having too much colour in it no, because it like, kind of fits in with the colour colours of the buildings. Yeah. Okay. Anyone else? Is everybody finished? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Hey, hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. 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 I haven't been able to print anything out, Susan, right. so I'm scribbling it on a bit of paper. It's fine. That's why Thank I've you. checked a couple of titles. We love yeah. paper and pencil. Yeah. Walking towns. So here we have the walkie-talkie in London. Um, what's the other one? The cheese grater. Cheese grater, yeah. So we've got mm -hmm. the cheese grater and the walkie-talkie. And this is either very early in the morning or or in the late afternoon, so all the lights are on in the office, but enough light to expose uh, the sensor. We've got all the lovely cranes which we associate with the endless development of the City of London. Compositionally, oh, so that means it's very well exposed. I like the fact that you've got an almost daylight shot with lots and lots of lights. I, I really like that. Compositionally, I wish it had been a square because we've got tons of water at the bottom with a bit of reflection in but I would have thought on balance not enough reflection to make it worthwhile keeping that the Grey River Thames in the bottom so I can imagine a square crop which gets rid of the tower crane on the left hand building slices down the sky there comes out of the bottom picks up the best of that reflection just underneath the wharf. I think that would have made it a stronger image. Um, the sky is the sky. Again, it's a bit bland and it's a bit ordinary, but it's a grey day. But it's also the evening, so it kind of seems less negative than before. Um, it's very well caught. It's a great image of, 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 our, of, the, of our fabulous, fabulous capital. Uh, and I like it, and I and I like that one quite a lot. Mm -hmm. So that's me. Yeah, I, I agree with your your comment about the crop. I think it would have improved it a little bit just to cut some, just to cut a bit of the, the water at the bottom off. Mm. Would you I, have taken a little bit off the left of that one as well? I might have done. Yes, actually, that that building just at the edge there, mm -hmm. that's where you're seeing a little bit of. Yeah, that might have improved it. Yeah. I think I'd have straightened all the buildings. <laughs> Yeah, you'd have to completely rebuild rebuild the uh, this. London skyline. Plenty of time. Um, that's back to the architect then, Andrew. Mm. Just dismantle that cheese grater and straighten it up a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Not as ugly as the walkie-talkie. Do it in Photoshop. 
<laughs> okay. Fifty-fifty. It'll be close. Ooh, that yeah, that just scrapes in. Yeah. Okay, has somebody made a note of that one? I have. Brilliant. Doctor Who knows the India. So, where is this? Our Columbia. <laughs> <laughs> In your dream. <laughs> Columbia. Exactly. Where? Columbia. Columbia. Yeah. Blimey. I thought it was China. There, just as you were going into lockdown. <laughs> well, thank you, Derek. I think, I mean, this is a great picture. Love the sky. The sky <laughs> is absolutely super. The light on the buildings is interesting and gentle and suggests, I guess, it's uh, low light, the, the the water is a beautiful blue reflecting the sky. The buildings are a bit tedious from an architectural point of view, but the way that the composition works with the rise towards the centre um, is absolutely excellent. Um, I didn't know Colombia was such a sophisticated place. Oh, yeah. yeah. Drug money in Colombia. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's true. Um, yes, and the fact that the island is 110% um, developed is pretty impressive. So this is a this is very good. The the crop is spot on. I think yeah. the yeah. crop the crop fits mm -hmm. the profile of the buildings absolutely superbly. Mm -hmm. And um, yes, well, long may the or soon may the cruise ships return, Derek. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, that's a good place I'd like to go back to. That's a cracking yeah, no, shot. Yeah, it looks really interesting. One thing I'll say about this picture is on my screen anyway, it looks 3D. Yeah. The, 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 the island in the middle is actually looks really, really far forward in the background, so it's got, it's got a really 3D effect. Gee, that's I think it's made of Lego. <laughs> yeah, it could be. <laughs> yeah, Derek didn't really go on a cruise. He did all this in his living room. Yeah. <laughs> I think they could, Colombo, Colombia could do with some new architects, though. Yeah. Bit one dimensional there. <laughs> Down at the bottom uh, right, there's the old uh, tower. The old oh, light. yeah, you can just see it, yeah. Oh, is that a brick? It's a bit lost. <laughs> that, yeah, that, is, that used to be, that was the lighthouse. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it looks like a lighthouse. They got the drug money, I think. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a nice oh, one. housekeepers in. <laughs> Very nice indeed. Anyone else? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Free trade deal boat. An urban pier. An urban pier. Well, I always think uh, that these reflection pictures are great fun, and um, I always try and take them myself. I really, I really enjoy it. Um, the distortion that you get, and the and the secondary image that you get is is uh, always more enjoyable than the original image. Um, and I've done lots of these around the city of London where you get those lovely chrome polished spheres in the street. Um, I'm not entirely sure where this is. I'm, I don't know. Sniffs a bit of Canada to me. I'm not sure why. Chicago. Chicago. No, not far. A bit, bit further north, a bit further south. Uh, but yes, it's a lovely summer's day. Children are in their shorts and T-shirts. The sun's shining. The sky's blue. Business district is wonderfully uh, silhouetted in shadow in the uh, in the background and, and the rear. You know, in the middle right hand section is the, the business district. It, it's absolutely super. The crop is just right for the shape of the sculptor. 
sculpture. Um, if I was going to pick anything negative about it, it's a shame about the paraphernalia on the left-hand side, um, whatever that is. I don't know if a vignette might have hidden that a bit. Buggy. It looks like, it looks like a kid's uh, buggy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a shame about that. And the post on the right-hand side doesn't mm. contribute, but it's not so negative. Um, but it's a it's a, a really a really happy picture. It'd be a great reminder of, of a trip to Chicago. Beautiful weather, uh, yeah, very very nice, nicely Thank cropped, you. nice and sharp, nicely seen, all good. I think what is lovely is up to the right at the top where the the reflective surface bl blends with the sky. Yeah. Nice. If that could have happened all the way along, i.e. not having the tree appearing at the top on the left, I think that would have been really, really lovely. Mm. You'd need to have taken your secateurs, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'd have perhaps had to have laid down, down to, to, <laughs> laid down to take it. Well. <laughs> yeah, that sort of seat. Do you think you could just crop off okay. both the sides? I think you need yeah, nice, but I think the, on the right yeah, as well. You, a little bit a little bit of Photoshop work could improve this, I think. Yes. Yeah. It's fundamentally a very, very strong image. Mm. Well it's shot. Mm, that's interesting. Do we need a drum roll then? There we go. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> you cannot be serious. <laughs> there we go. Mm. Oh, uh, it's my birthday this week, and <coughs> and the plan was to Happy take birthday. a river cruise to St. Petersburg mm. for my birthday. That's mm. where this is, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And, uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, stymied. Oh, I'd be muted if I said anything negative. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I like. I like the idea here. I like the juxtaposition of the big buildings and the big column and the people. There's some interesting stuff going on um, on the bottom right-hand corner there, a wedding or something being photographed. But it just seems to me such a shame that the top of the column's been chopped off. Mm -hmm. It unbalances the whole image. Um, compositionally, having the column on the on the third point and you know and this and the wonderful sculptor at the sculpture at the top and the dome and the squares acting as lovely lead lines it's all it's got all the ingredients of a really good shot the light is right there's a little bit of detail in the sky there's interest in the people all the ingredients of a great shot are here but <laughs> somehow um the cake's just underbaked slightly just needs to be just tipped up and a little bit off the bottom and the whole of the column and it could it would have been an absolute cracker uh, it's certainly an urban scene from a from a bygone age but um and there's so much interest going on the colors are nicely muted nothing's over or underexposed it's a good picture it's got all the ingredients of a great image but it doesn't quite make it Me. Yeah. Anyone else? Oh, sorry, I'm just putting the poll. Come on, guys, chip <laughs> in. Yeah, I totally agree with you. Lucky, I think we were agreeing with you, Steve. Yeah, yeah. It, it's just lucky. It was a pity about the tower. It's really good. And the corner of the tower at the bottom. Yeah. Square. And it's the, the fact that you've got a couple of people's legs are chopped off right in the foreground that my eye is going to as well. But the, but the idea. Was it one of Rogers? 
<laughs> I couldn't possibly say. <laughs> That's a shame. That could have been an absolute cracker. Yeah. <clears throat> Whereas this one is, I think this picture is right up there at the top of today's, uh, tonight's submission. It's Blackfriars Bridge, underneath Blackfriars Bridge in London. The light catching the riveted ironwork is magnificent. The lead lines are fantastic. The, the graphic effect of the beam sockets, the light on the beam sockets is absolutely spot on. And um, the grey tones, the variation in tonal quality is super. And you've got the bonus of this guy in the bottom right hand corner, a total sudden contrast to drag your eye from all this wonderful intricacy of the ironwork to this almost secondary subject. I mean, it's just... For me, this is the shot of the night, certainly so far. I, I'm really enjoying it. I love the black and white thing. It's just, it's just a great shot. Um, whether it could have been, whether the guy facing the other way would have made it even stronger, looking into the shot, could have asked him to turn around, but he was probably a foreigner. So, no, <laughs> I, I'm really, really enjoying this. It's a, it's, it's a super shot. The selected little Jim. Yeah, I think it's I think it's incredibly strong, and I really like the patterns in the in the left hand corner as well. It's a very very strong image. I love it. I don't know if it the, the sky is awfully awfully white, and uh, yeah, but I think you need that for contrast. I think that, could, that gives it kind it, of an arty feel. It for is. Me, that but, works. Yeah, it could. I think it, if it was toned down a tiny bit, but uh, that's nitpicking. I think. I mean, it's like it's the bottom. I'm not sure if it's in perfectly horizontal, whether it wants a, a little tiny tweak to the right, because whilst it's been leveled to the bottom of the cross ribbing, is absolutely level at the bottom. At the top, because of the uh, distortion, it looks slightly sloping down to the left. But these are tiny points. The fundamental image uh, is splendid. I'd have been very proud if that was mine. Is it sky or is it a wall? It could be a white concrete wall. It could, it could, and it doesn't matter. I mean, I think it's just, it just gives it a very graphic feel. Yeah, it does. Yes, I think it would be stronger though if the man was looking into the picture. You think so? It doesn't bother me that. No, yeah, it doesn't bother me like... that as it is. It's a really strong image anyway. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> right, that's everybody. That's one person who hasn't voted, but then again. And that's a yes. Amount of pen. Everybody got that one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Indulgence. Indulgence. Well, if you like ice cream and uh, privet hedge, it is a hell of an indulgence. <laughs> um, I'm not entirely sure how closely it complies with the specification mm -hmm. for tonight's entries. It's obviously that there's a there's a marina or a harbour or a dock behind it. Um, the principal subject matter is this beautiful ice cream sundae. Um, and that is definitely got little or nothing to do with urban uh, urban scenes. Um, I'm not sure that it's plum anywhere. See that the the, uh, the stem of the cocktail glass isn't vertical. We've got a an empty glass cut off. Um, it's not it's close, too closely cropped at the top. Uh, the no waiting sign or whatever it is is leaning over. I'm afraid, for me, it doesn't really comply, and it doesn't 
even get away with it by being a fabulous image. So, um, best I say no more. <laughs> Looks a bit yummy though. Yeah, I love the colours. The, the ice cream makes me the ice cream, definitely. Mine tasted very nice. <laughs> <laughs> And on Norgate, London. Yeah, I was. Uh, I thought this was a knockout. Um, as a piece of art, I thought it is. I think it's. I think it's stunning. Um, I don't know how um, how manipulated the geography has been. I don't know if this is a view that actually exists in real life. Probably, I suspect not. But that doesn't that doesn't matter. I think that the treatment is so outrageous and so radical um, that it's that it's delightful. I really, really enjoy it. The, the corner of the building pointing up to this extraordinary sky. Um, only really having, aside from black and white, we've only got two colours, which is the red and the purple. Um, it's almost graphic. It's almost graphic. It's almost abstract. It's almost figurative. It's almost everything. And the bisecting line, the perfectly vertical lines, and very little convergence or divergence, kind of adds to the artificiality of it in some ways. But I think is enhancing. Um, my my eye keeps going to the, to the busyness of the bottom swept up by the corner of that building into this sort of dystopian sky. And outrageous and uh, unusual as it is, I absolutely love it. I think it's a cracking job. So congratulations to the author. Can I just say that I think this, this really does capture the spirit of what we're trying to do in Top Dog now. And I know this was a particularly hard subject because we, we, actually, we actually published this topic before we changed the... Uh, the the idea of top dog so i uh, i think i think whoever did this have really got the spirit of it so well done i think it's great bear in mind i'm looking at this on such a tiny screen what is that what fairly large white blob it's the only thing i can describe it as on this screen large white blob where in the picture where in the picture the reflection no, I think it, yeah, don't worry. I think it might actually be my phone. That's my trouble. It's so oh, it's your, tiny. That's your thumb, Jan. You've got your thumb <laughs> on the middle of the screen. <laughs> no, I've just managed to enlarge it sufficiently to see it is. Yeah, no, it's all right. Forget yeah, that. Apologies. Can you do? Oh, hang on. I thought I'd lost you. No, it's all right. I'm back. Okay. Anybody? I'll try not to touch anything. Anybody else? Right. <laughs> Are we having a break today? Mm -hmm. yeah, but not yet. You need to you need to move it on a bit. If you want right. To. So that one was a no. I, I, that is so close. I'd put it in as a yes, to be honest with you. It's only three percent off it. What, what does everybody think? No, I think I, no, because you can't do that until you've got. Okay, okay, okay. Let's okay. do the rest. I think okay, you've got to do more. Yeah, fair enough. Now you're on number fourteen. <laughs> Here we got Sue. Thirty-eight. <laughs> So this is a picture of Venice. It's a lovely piece of urban decay. Uh, I love Venice because it's all falling to bits. Um, I think this picture is a bit perhaps oversaturated, maybe a little bit too um, too worked. The sky's nice. The colours are 
really intense. Compositionally, it's fine. I love the reflection and I like the uh, regression as we go down. Perspective is good. Um, just for me, it's just very slightly overprocessed. Mm. Mm. Love the colours in it. I think, to me, it gives the impression of a film set. Ah, oh, well, Venice, you know. Venice is a one big film set. Mm. Oh, that's pretty. And there's a So this is, I'm guessing, this is Times Square in New York. What was this one called? Sorry. And we Times Square. Time. Times Square. Yeah. Memories of Times Square. Memories Memories. of Times Square. So this is, uh, this is Times Square <coughs> in New York. It's extraordinarily busy photograph but it's an extraordinarily busy place um, I'm a great lover of mono but Times Square is all about colour isn't it it's all about the neons it's all about the signage it's all about the lights and the black and lights and I don't know quite why it's black and white maybe to maybe it would just be too heavy on the senses if it was in colour but it certainly is an urban scene, the ultimate urban scene in many ways, um, and very, very busy. And dare I say it, pre-COVID. I think if you look at history of the great photographers from New York, they were all done in black and white. Thank you, Keith. I think it sets sets the scene. Yeah. Sky's massively over over bright again. There we are. I like this one. Here we are in, in France, I'm guessing. Um, I don't know. It's an unusual picture, isn't it? It's uh, an un unusual combination of architecture. It's very urban scene. We've got some nice regression uh, in perspective down the corridor there. We've got the stairs to climb up. We've got the underpass to go under. There's loads of kind of there's loads of interaction going on here where people could move, but there's no people in it. Um, sky's good. Uh, yeah, it's, this is a good, it complies with the space. It's nice and sharp. The verticals are vertical. It's a good picture. Anyone else? Yeah, they're kind of top of the building, aren't they? Could you do the next one, Jill? Yeah, if you like. If you're not having a break, I need a break. Okay, I'll do the next one. Let me know when you're back. Okay, and that's another one there. the Marina Bay Hotel. Okay, this is another one that's all about patterns and shapes and converging lines, and I do like the lines in this. They do make an interesting pattern. Um, for me, the only thing that kind of spoils it a bit is where the, where the pattern goes into the middle. It's very busy, and yeah, it, I suppose it's because there's lots of people there, but it, I, I'm finding it slightly distracting with it in the middle, because, because to me, what this picture is all about is patterns. 
and it's not in the, the bit in the middle that hasn't got the patterns. Nothing you can do about it at all. Um, just trying to think is that there's lots of nice strong whites and strong black, so it's it's nicely exposed, nicely taken. I don't mind about the converging verticals because that's what the picture's all about. So yeah, to me it's it's a pattern picture and it's a good one. I think I'd anybody else like to top off top off the bottom bottom third maybe? Yeah. Just a bit yeah, that might improve it actually. Yeah, yeah, take take that bar out. Mm. And yeah, just move it out because that takes a lot of lot of the distraction out of the picture and emphasises the lines more. So yeah, I think you're right there. That's that first set of yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah I would agree. Inside and vertical, right inside leaning, and it's sort of thirty degrees. Yeah, yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I didn't say where it was, did it? Just said, gap, I mean, you know, you get converging verticals, but they both come in at the same angle. You know, this doesn't. <laughs> yeah, it's it it after a couple of drinks, Derek. <laughs> no, no I, I think it's interesting. I do think it's interesting. I don't think it's quite as strong as the other pattern picture we had on the Blackfriars Black Bridge, though. Oh, no. no Comparing no, it with that one. Anyone else? Thank you. Right, is everybody voted? Yeah. Yep. So. I'm being very, very harsh tonight. Who is <laughs> resolution? Yeah. We're definitely a very hard audience to please. So, this is, good. is Steve back yet? Probably not. Yes. Yes? She's still working. Mr. Ivan, do you, do, you, do you want to do this one, Steve, or do you want me to do it? You can do it. Okay. Well, yeah, this is this is a really strange building. I have seen this building in Reykjavik, and it's one of the few interesting bits of Reykjavik. So I found Reykjavik quite a boring place, actually. But this is really well taken. It's very atmospheric. I love the sky. The sky really makes this picture work, and I love the way it's lit. I don't know whether it was taken in a sort of a twilight or what, but it, it's just, I think it's full of drama and... and shapes and colour and not colour but shade rather because this is mono but idiot girl but um I do think it's very very atmospheric it is slightly in, on my my screen or perhaps it's just me because I'm not very good I admit I'm not very good at seeing things in straight lines and to me it looks as if it's slightly on the wall it may just be because it is a really weird shape I don't know but uh, I think it's very got a huge impact and yeah I like it very much full of drama I think maybe it's cut off a bit sharpish at the bottom because it looks like the, it looks like the actual building it, it, you, you actually cut just the bit of the building off at the bottom that's slightly annoying me but other than that i think it's a really good picture anyone else i think you said about the sky i think the sky yeah. is brilliant yes yeah the sky is wonderful yeah, yeah. It really is stormy atmospheric mm. It really is a strange building. I think that the architect designed those all those vertical lines in concrete to reflect the way that the volcanic rock in some parts of Iceland has formed. Oh, okay. To me, it looks like your uh, pipe, organ pipes, you know. Mm. But yeah, you, you're probably right. Or well, basalt columns. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Grim up north. Nice. <laughs> it's a tad further north, eh? <laughs> Be a bit dark there at the moment. Mm. When I was there, he always knew when it was lunchtime because the street lights went out. <laughs> <laughs> I went there in August and I've never been so cold in my life. Yeah, I was there in June and it rained the whole time. <laughs> Yeah, so that's a hold back. That's good. That's good. View from Dartford Crossing. Really? Dartford in Kent? Yep. 
I thought it was India or somewhere. I thought they were grain stores. So they must be um, gas. Must be liquid petroleum gas or something like that. So that's the Thames. It looks like Calcutta. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Is that really the Thames? I love this picture. I do love the I do love the contrast between these these oil tanks or whatever they are, or grain, oh no, is it, are they grain silos? No, they're not, because they haven't got the, um, I think it's gas. They haven't got the Archimedes screws, yeah, you must be right, there must be gas. And, the, and then this regression of the greys looking over downtown mm. Averley, or wherever it is. It's a lovely atmosphere, doesn't it? It, really it is, is, it just mm. does not look like <laughs> England to me, it really doesn't, but I really like the pinkish hue of the buildings, I like the grey recession. I like the fact we've got <coughs> buildings and then the river and then the near background and the far background in the sky, all those stripes. And the composition and the crop uh, go beautifully together. So somebody's taken what is really, really a boring, bland, industrial nothingness of a landscape and created a really, really interesting image from it, which... You know that is that is that is having the eye. I like that a lot. Very well done, the author. Mm -hmm. A typical of the north bank of the Thames because it's all predominantly petrol chem type activity, right the way down to Canby Island, etc. Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. so I've always thought Canby Island would be a great place to crash a Boeing seven hundred seven or something. <laughs> <laughs> about a trillion gallons of petroleum gas there, it would blow up the whole of Essex, wouldn't it? <laughs> there is equally an ammunition boat that's still stuck there with the, I don't know how many thousand tonne of explosives that uh, they can't move because of the danger. It'd be another Beirut, wouldn't it? Mm. Annex it and floating out to sea. Yeah. Although it is Canby Island, so I don't know how upset we'd be. Well, that was a no anyway, just, yeah. Sorry, what was this one called? Past Glories in the Now. Sorry? Past Glories in the Now. So the Now is in Colombia, yes? How do you it? Did I learn that from the earlier picture? No, it's Asia. Brazil. Asia? In Brazil, because I was going to Brazil. I would have guessed, you see, when I first looked at it, um, <laughs> Thank was, you, Brian. Brian, from I mean everyone, we used to that. Um, oh, from the fire, fire service. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> when I saw this picture in the previews, which arrived just before we started, um, our guess was that it was Cuba. Mm. <coughs> Looks like it could be anywhere in Halstead to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's got this lovely, wonderful patina of decay and and the colours. It's a shame about the hoarding, the modern hoarding, but the decay is absolutely, I don't know, it's fabulous. I don't know why it appeals so much, but it is fabulous. And the raw ironwork in the arches. And then you've got this kind of whole storyline of the complete lack of investment in, in the architecture of the place. A little bit, even the graffiti is decaying off. Um, compositionally, there's just something not quite right about the angle, is there? It, it looks like you need to take three or four steps to the left and then straighten up the camera. Um, because it's not quite, you know, we haven't got the a balance, we haven't got enough um, perspective for it to go to a point. So from, from the compositional point of view, I think it's a bit lacking. Um, but in terms of the textures that it creates in your mind and the idea of the, of the paint flaking off and, and the uh, contradiction of the modern hoardings and the graffiti with the very old uh, and ageing stonework is good, is good. Compositionally, I don't think it's as strong as many of the others. Yeah, I would agree with that.
There we go. Um, <laughs> we want to have a break now. Oh. We're on, this is 21. We've got 38. You, would you like a break, Susan? Would, I, would everybody like a break? Well, just five minutes. Yeah, um, five minutes. Mm -hmm. just, just to look away from the screen for a sec, okay? Um, from any famous parts of London, but it's a very busy picture. There are very few people facing us, which is always kind of a bit of a negative thing for me, looking at the backs of people. It's a busy picture. Um, there's a story here, of course, um, because it's, you know, the greatest, probably the greatest marathon in the world with a maximum number of runners. And it's not all about the, um, but not all about the winners, is it? It's all about the, the participants who struggle uh, and just about manage to finish. Uh, they're the real heroes in many ways. So I like the storyline. I'm not sure compositionally. Um, it works with the backs of all the people, and we've got a bit of rubbish in the bottom right-hand corner, and the guy sitting over there on the sign, and people's legs cut off, and I don't know. It's a record shot of a of an important part of a charitable event. Um, it's nicely exposed; the colours are good, um, but it's a bit busy. That's me. Uh -uh. <laughs> That's your job now, Andrew. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Noise. So here we here we are with a a wonderful urban scene. This is like one hundred and ten percent compliant with the specs. We've got an urban scene, and we've got this kind of mindless vandalism that sometimes you have to have to associate with this environment. So the immediate subject matter is that bicycle. Somebody's nicked the wheel off it or done them, whatever they've done to it, smashed it up. And then your eye goes away from that, down the double yellow line, which you know to be yellow, um, and down the street into the distance, and there's more bicycles and, and it gets busier. It's nicely turned to monochrome because I suspect it wouldn't have worked in colour. So I like the way that I like the way that it's been it's been turned to monochrome. It's obviously London. It might be Clarges Street or somewhere like that off of um, off of Piccadilly or. But anyway, um, I'm not. I wonder if just the bike, a square crop of just the bike, might have been even more dramatic. But then it wouldn't have had the necessarily the urban background that we require for this competition. It's got the um, it's got the London bollards in. Uh, it's well exposed. It's nice and sharp. Um, yeah, lots to commend it. Yeah, it's good. There's only one thing that's bothering me in this picture, and that's the white van. My eye is going straight yeah. to that big white splot on the van. Yeah. So I if thought just the square crop would that, get rid of that. that down a bit. My, I wouldn't just be going to it. I'm, I'm missing the bike altogether. I'm going straight down the line to that white, that yeah. bright white spot in the background. If we square crop, like it bottom, is very strong. If we square crop to the bottom and got yeah. rid of the van entirely. Yeah, agreed. I agree. It might be the it might be the business, but then you would lose the top of the bollards. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So perhaps perhaps you're right. You should just tone just it tone, down. Tone it down. Yeah. But the, the subject, the principal subject. It's brilliant, excellent. <coughs> oh, shame. <laughs> and you or should I say again? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. the eye. Okay, I really enjoyed this when I first 
glanced at it. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a brilliant, brilliant piece of perception to get this combination of 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 the eye and the Elizabeth Tower. It's obviously a bit old because Elizabeth Tower's been in scaffolding for two or three years. And then I looked at it and I thought, the composition again is just chopping the top off the wheel seems such a shame. We've got all this stuff at the bottom chopped in half. I don't think it's like the one earlier where it's got all the ingredients of an absolute cracker. Um, I just wish the composition had been slightly different. I just wish I'd seen the whole of the wheel, uh, the Elizabeth Tower, all the trees, and none of the traffic. And I think with the sky and the perfect exposure and the nice colour palette, it would have been a fabulous shot. As it is, it's good, really good, because your eye goes straight to, straight to the Elizabeth Tower, surrounded by the... It's just a stuff. I don't know how people find these orientations of the of the images, but it's brilliant from that point of view. Just the composition for me is not quite as strong as it could be. Actually, if this had been mine, I might have played with cropping it really deep in so that you have so you've only got that what I still call Saint Stephen's Tower, um, actually as a, inside that inside the wheel, just as a pattern. And I think that might actually work just with the with the train in the foreground. Mm. Just take a little that little centre section. Yeah. You've got a completely different viewpoint, completely different picture altogether. Might be yeah. worth for the author. I think it might be worth trying to crop and see if it works. Yeah, that's fun. I, I, square crop. I think it's okay with all that traffic at the bottom. That makes oh, it I, more urban. Yeah, to um, me, that it's a distraction for me. That I, th I think that it, it's cut off sufficiently off the top. You know what the top looks like. Um, uh, it doesn't bother me. I think it's quite good. I definitely like having that train there. Yeah, yeah I think tr the train is good. Yeah, you need the train. Yeah. It's just bringing another element in, which is, yeah, mm -hmm. it works really well for me. Because like, it, if you do up. take the traffic out, it makes a very interesting image. Yeah, I, I think... Like the traffic, but it is a bit... Especially the road signs, the bus stop and the... Um, I would, say, I would seriously crop it right crop it right down and see what you get, see if it works. Mm. I think I'd have cropped it to the start of the trees above the van yeah. and go half right across the half of the wheel so you just got that section. Yeah, agreed. That might be good. Yeah, yeah mm. I think that would work. Yeah. All the ingredients are there. Yeah. Absolutely. Have somebody forgot the baking powder? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. Our first sweet thing. Yes, yeah, so this takes us into an, another culture, which is always refreshing and interesting and, and, and delightful. On my screen, the, uh, the, the sky is massively bright and white and featureless, which is, which is a shame. So maybe it should have been done away with because it doesn't contribute and, and, it, and it takes away from the picture. Uh, the busyness of the traffic is, is classic Indian. Uh, the people's dress, the rickshaws, uh, it's a lovely urban scene, albeit in a, you know, with all the lovely trees and stuff in the background, but nevertheless, we know it's a city, we know it's busy, uh, it's so much to look at, fantastic jigsaw puzzle, by the way, I just would like to do away with the sky and maybe clone out that vertical white stripe that goes right through the centre, um, but I like the picture, it just transports me. It transports me to India, um, and you can almost hear the traffic and the honking of the hooters and the smell of the spices. It's a, it's a lovely picture. It definitely evokes, it, like all good art, it evokes other emotions, and, they're, and, they're, and those are mine. 
think it would have looked good if you shot it at a slow shutter speed and got some movement. Mm, that's an interesting thought, yeah. It, it's also, um, and I agree with you, Steve, and it's very atmospheric. It really does bring home what it's, it's like there. But I do find my eyes wandering around looking for something to mm -hmm. focus on, a point of focus. It's yeah. it kind of all over the place. With it. Yeah. Such is India, I guess, yeah. <laughs> Well, that was fairly emphatic. <laughs> harsh, guys, harsh. Eon Panorama. I like that. Yeah, so this is the uh, kind of the ultimate in letterbox presentations. Now, it couldn't better comply with the urban uh, specification because it's a massive, massive urban sprawl. We've got the central business di district in the in the middle there, which is you know draws your eye. That is the focal point of the picture, and then we've got this very sinuous curve of the of the of the um, of the tree line there, which kind of frames the picture and sets it off rather cleverly, and this and this perfectly horizontal blue horizon, bright sky. I mean, yes, the contents here are, are all good, are all good. It's nicely exposed. I'm not sure how sharp anything is. Um, I'm not sure anything is sharp. That that might be a little bit of a distraction, but. Yes, a really good urban scene and beautifully framed uh, by yeah. the foliage of the tree. Super sharp. Yes, yeah, I agree. I think I might just have cloned out that little blob in the bottom right-hand corner. Yes. Slightly distracted. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, it's very nicely framed. Doesn't have an influence of Leon at all. It could be any large city. Full stop. No character to it. I've never been to Full Stop, Keith. Is that a good one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think if you just had the middle section of it, it would be a much better picture. Yeah, maybe. I like the I like the panoramic element. If anybody's thinking of going, I. I I've got a little list of very good restaurants in Lyon. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'll go tomorrow. You'll take us to lunch, please. Right. <laughs> if only we could. Mm. There you go, club outing. None of us have got anything on tomorrow, have we? <laughs> <laughs> I don't get those other than those who work, sorry. <laughs> Apologies, Susan. I'm ready for my bed already. <laughs> Not surprised. So here we are with a, another a nice monochrome of the City of London, uh, the Walkie Talkie building again, taken from um, a very, very high position. What was the title? Walkie Talkie. Walkie Talkie. Okay, I wondered what the building was. It was uh, shop room. Could that be the shop? Am I geographically right? Yeah. Possible. Yeah, you might be. Possible. Possible. Anyway. Yes, yeah, so again, we've got these much, much older buildings in the bottom, in the bottom quarter of the, of the, of the frame. Uh, so that again makes a nice comparison with the, with the ultra modern building of the, of the Walkie Talkie building. This concave shape, you know, focuses the sun's rays down and has actually melted bits of cars. And um, there have been all sorts of legal actions against the architect because he created this. <laughs> this lens which concentrates the the, the, um, the sun's rays and the irony is is another building it might be in France somewhere that does exactly the same thing and he still produced the same load of legal cases against him by reproducing the building in an, in, in England but anyway 
I think, I think, haven't they put something on the front of it uh, now? Yeah, it doesn't do it anymore. It doesn't do it anymore. Yeah. No. I actually watched somebody fry an egg on a bike when yeah. it was... <laughs> It's <laughs> frying an egg on a bike. It's really weird. So, egg and bike chain. Very nice. <laughs> right. So, yeah. So, so uh, this is an extraordinary viewpoint from which to take the take this shot. In, and that, in this, that, that in itself it, makes it unusual and, and interesting and good. It's Bill His Hiskett's um, drone just before he was arrested. Oh, <laughs> it's a Bill Hiskett shot. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's, I'm surprised he hasn't twisted it into some extraordinary Scottish tartan or something. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But I like what I like about this picture most of all. I'm not sure about the shades of grey. Somehow, slightly muddy, isn't it? And we need a bit more contrast. But, but notwithstanding any of that, what I love about this most of all is the extraordinary viewpoint. Mm. Mm. And it's very urban. It's very urban. I have to say it's not my favourite building in London, but that's neither here nor there. Have you been to the Sky Garden at the top? No, I'd like to. Mm. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. It is. Oh. Right. Another no. Shame. on the dock of the bay. Indeed. Well, this is... Um, so the intensity of the colours here, which might be oversaturated in some... Um, in, in some situations, is perfect for this... Because it's so Caribbean, isn't it? We've got the, got the guy in the... with the dreadlocks in his bright shirt, overlooking the water, we've got the beautiful blue sky, the lovely mountains, the brilliant colours, the lovely old cars. This is an absolutely cracking shot because it, it is completely at rest and it's completely correct for its environment. What did that judge say once? It's, it's comfortable in the frame. What did he call it? The picture is comfortable in the frame. It just looks right. The composition is super with the figure on that bottom third there, and um, and the and the and the and the diagonal that we've got from the horizon with the mountains and the colours. Yes, beautiful Caribbean. Did you think the horizon wasn't straight, <laughs> but you didn't. I didn't. You did. I really. I think that's a splendid shot. A very splendid shot. It is urban. It's urban in a Caribbean context. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it Wilson Pickett? Otis Redding. Otis Redding. Show me age now. And we have it, yes. Mm. Yeah. There you go. Mm. We're going to have the right sort of number to go through. I spray for any mist. Um, this is a stunner for me. This is an absolute stunner. This is, you know, proper art. This is an arty picture. Uh, it's, it's, it's brutal, brutalistic architecture, brutalism, is it? Le Corbusier said. It's, uh, you know, structure is stuck on the outside of the building for you to see. The engineering is there for you to see. Disappearing into this wonderful mist. Um, uh, I don't know, maybe the centre isn't absolutely perfectly vertical. That could be plumbed up a bit, but... For me, this is a this this is sits next to the Blackbriars one. Um, it, it's graphic, virgin, you know, it's virgin between a graphic image and a photograph, and I just absolutely love it. I don't know where it is, Chicago or somewhere possibly, because um, it's a huge building, but photographically, I 
find that immensely pleasing. Mm. Lovely shot. Great. I agree. It's just so simple, isn't it, really? And yet it just it's wonderful. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Mama. Yeah. Okay, mm. that's down to uh, down to our chairman. What was the title of this? Something as it used to be. Um, is that Berlin? I think. Is it Berlin? I don't know. I think near yeah, no, all. You. Yeah, near Vile, I think that's their Oxford Street. All the very, very expensive jewellery shops and clothes shops and and all the rest. So yes, it's a very urban scene. It's good to it's good that it's mono because it um, it simplifies the image. It's pretty well shot right through. It's nicely composed that the uh, near Val is. Perfectly symmetrical, and then we've got the mirror image of it oh, yeah. underneath it. And lots going on, not too much foreground. Yeah, great picture. Right, has anybody else going to say anything? Uh, got nothing to add, I don't think, at the moment. Okay. Oh. Oh. oh no! <laughs> Eighteen going. Baker Street. So this photograph, which um, David Weller, when he was a member of our club, um, took and did very well in competition with this particular composition, is kind of almost cliched. It's been done so often. Here, what we here we have a really dark and moody version um, of the one that I'm used to seeing, and there are lots and lots of these online. Mm. Um, and when I first saw it, I just thought, "Oh, it's massively underexposed, and it's too dark, and it doesn't really work." But the more I looked at it, the more I liked it. The cleverer I thought it became. We haven't. We've got an image. We have got. A person missing from the left-hand alcove. And they do say, don't they, if you take pattern pictures, you should disrupt the pattern. And that is, for me, that disrupts the pattern. Um, you've got the perfect symmetry of the arches, which is quite skillfully done. And the black, the really black, the dark, the apparent underexposed, or it's either underexposed or it's been artificially darkened, makes it all the more moody so um yeah from an art photography point of view i think this is a this is a cracker i like the fact that there's not just a person missing but the posters are missing as well True. Mm. Mm. interesting good point notice that the left hand baker street sign is a lot brighter than the the right hand one, should it have been like that or didn't they quite get the lighting right? Mm. I don't like the way the Baker Street on the left has been left to be Kerr Street. <laughs> yes, so you put the same comment there. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, you'll sing it to me. Huh? Uh, there we go. Definitely some unusual results here. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, there's a there's a cafe in Calais that I go to whenever I get the chance to go over there, and I thought it was that. I think it's even got. I think that Susan's same name, fun. but it, I know, I know that this is not this is not Calais. But there's a building, a cafe exactly like that with a with a market stall opposite. Anyway, never mind all that. This is good. This, I like this because it. Steve, the clue is in the title. No, I said it was like it, Keith. I didn't say it was it. So this is I, this is a good urban scene. It's absolutely classically French. We've got these um, this lovely colourful fruit here on the right hand side, and, and a much more subdued, monochromy image on the left hand side. It's a really interesting composition. There's lots going on. Got a nice splay of the umbrella. A bit of overexposure at the top here, which is a shame. But otherwise, yeah. Very good. Yes, that light patch at the top is really quite distracting. Um, just needs a filter just pulled down yeah. over it and it'll be fine. Yeah. Anyone else? I think the moral of that was that concentrate on your photography don't look at the queue at the Fromagerie that was just off picture. For me, it's not a landscape. No. Uh, and the whole idea of this is that we're supposed to be doing something arty, and I, I know this was a really difficult subject, but... Yeah, we mustn't lose sight of the revised. Yeah, I, yeah this, this wasn't, wasn't a great theme for our revised top dog, but... Uh, creativity, we're looking for creativity. Creativity, yes. yes. Exactly. But I think also because the position we find ourselves in made it even harder. To yeah, think. indeed, because we can't go out and take pictures. Yeah, it's, it's pretty hard altogether. Yeah. Well, there's nothing creative about this one, is there? <laughs> this is absolutely fabulous. Um, what was it called? View from the Shard. Yeah, View from the Shard. Oh. So, yeah, absolutely, absolutely wonderful. And the already distorted sinusoidal curve of the London Mayor's office it looks even more distorted as it gets to the edge of the frame. Yeah, this Most is a marvellous shot. Yeah. Marvel shot. Absolutely marvellous shot. Stormy, stormy day, bright sunshine behind the photographer, rain in front of him, um, yeah, marvellous, marvellous, yeah. what can I say, great viewpoint, Beauty, yeah. beautifully Super muted colours, excellent. Yeah, don't Have a one of Bill's that. drones, maybe. <laughs> yeah, Bill's drones, yeah. <laughs> No, that's it's a very, very strong this one. Only just, but it got there. Mm. Good. I think we've got about seven so far, so we that's perfect. Seven's perfect. So the Temple of Insurance, I'm assuming, is this the Lloyd's building? Looks, looks like it, doesn't it? Yes, thing. I went to a building in America somewhere, I can't remember where it was, and it was a similar architectural edifice, but it had a huge, huge steel pendulum hanging from the middle of the the middle of the roof, and it almost touched the ground. It was immense, and it was a very similar structure to this. Um, I think it was an HSBC bank building. It might have been in Canada or something. And that's what I thought it was, but the pendulum's missing. So this is a lovely upshot, taken with a nice wide angle, looking at the sky through all this fabulous glazing. Again, I love all the fact that the structure is exposed and visible, and obvious the engineering is there. Um, 
yes, it's an absolutely urban scene insofar as we would only get this building in a city. No one would build this building anywhere else. So we know by definition that it's urban. Um, but the, the, the tapering lines, the verticals all approaching uh, infinity and the colour of the sky uh, refracted through the glass uh, and all the glazing panels and it just it's just great it is absolutely great not a landscape again though <laughs> it's not urban either it's well, it's urban <laughs> it's city, that is city centre it stands out well, a mile urban, urban, mean, is, urban is where people live no urban means city it means built up in my definition, anyway. Yeah. Well, try the, Ox try the Oxford Dictionary, then. Oh. <laughs> you wouldn't build that in Epping Forest, would you? Still not a landscape. Oh, it's still not a landscape. I grant you that. Right. Great image, though. I like it. Oh, sorry. What were the scores again? It went too quickly. Oh, sorry. It was. It was no. It, it was a no. no. Okay. Yeah, I didn't get the. Uh, hang on. I'll just bring it up again. Um, it's twenty-one percent yes, seventy-nine percent no. Thank you. So what was this one called? New York. Ousted. Urban <laughs> <laughs> sprawl, I think. Urban sprawl. Well, I'm guessing it's, it's New York, isn't it? I think so. Because that looks like the Chrysler Building in there. Yeah, that's the Chrysler yeah. Building on the yeah. right there, isn't it? Um, lovely wide-angle lens. Lots and lots of lovely muted colours. Perfect, me? almost perfectly horizontal horizon. Could do with a little tweak down to the left. Um, as, as urban as it gets, I think. Unless mm. you're going to argue about that, Keith. And also, um, it's a landscape. So everybody's happy. Great picture. Um, taken from the top, presumably, of another of another skyscraper. I would guess it's top of the rock, but I don't know. Yeah. That's the Hudson, is it, down there? Going across the top left? Probably. Very, very good indeed. Complies perfectly with the spec. Sharp, well exposed, nice colours. What's not to like? Good. Does that mean we've got eight through? Oh no, I'm, I'm sorry, I thought we finished I've forgotten the 38. Oh, sorry. Next. So this is New York, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a nice, very vivid picture of uh, Houston High Street. A um, little bit too much foreground for my liking, but a fabulous sky. Vivid colours, taken at dusk or very early in the morning, judging by the headlights. Um, possibly oversaturated or over-processed. Um, maybe it's like being hdr I don't know, but um, just a tad much. But on the other hand, that might be what gives it its impact. I might have trimmed off this downpipe on the right-hand side, which is not vertical and is a bit distracting and I might have chopped almost half of the picture off the bottom but yeah a nice image is it urban or is it a bit is it a bit a bit countryfied to be urban I think urban in this case is a little bit maybe dubious yeah yeah a good picture nevertheless a nice image nevertheless impactful I think Brian Fleming would call it Urban really relates oh, to... Oxford Dictionary says 
It's living in or situated in a town or city. There you go, then. They all can uh, fly. There, there are um, several uh, different uh, definitions, for example, relating to or designating a city or town, densely populated urban areas, related to a city, etc., etc. So they tend to relate to cities and large towns. I think they've just made house, did they? So we should have walked forward and not had this car on the bottom right hand corner. Yeah, oh, that's bothering me a bit too. I mean, you know, they had to take, I don't know, six paces forward and they'd have cut that out and cut out some of the foreground. They probably got run over in the process, mine, but. <laughs> <laughs> You have to suffer for your art. You do, that's very true. I had to drag Rosie out of the... Well, anyway, what? Rosebush. <laughs> Rosebush, no, Rose. <laughs> Someone just got thumped there. <laughs> World's Collide. So this might be Hong Kong or Singapore, I guess. I think it's New York. Really? Chinatown, though. <laughs> um, yeah, so we've got this, these nice pagodas, this lovely juxtaposition of the traditional and the old tree and the pagoda and the pond and these ultra-modern buildings. And it's, the composition is absolutely spot on because we've got this beautiful tree on the left and it, op and it opens out with the water line and the tree line to the sky, and the sky's got some interest in it, and, and we've got the juxtaposition of the buildings. I think that is a cracking composition. The colours are nicely muted, they're not in your face, really? and it's not yeah, it just really, really works nicely. I think that is a splendid, splendid image. The shape of the building fits nicely into the space it does, mm. doesn't it? It's made by yeah. the tree branch overhanging. Yeah. Yeah. Very and that, and that, just that tiny bit of separation between the bottom of the leaf yeah. and the top of the building just makes it mm. that little bit of precision. I've just, yeah. tried, I've just tried to crop that little bit of sky just off on the left-hand side, but you know something? I, I think you need it. I do. Yeah, I think you do need it. No, it's, I, I, I really like this one. Good picture. I'd love to know where it is. I'm going to tell us. Uh, it's not steeple bumpstead. <laughs> no, I'd probably have guessed that it wasn't steeple bumpstead. <laughs> that is a relief. <laughs> hey. Where's the mirrors? So we've gone from all these um, really big panoramic, busy, busy urban pictures to something which is almost minimalist. It's as little as you can get, uh, almost as little as you can get, but which still displays an urban view. Um, and I guess it's smoke and mirrors because the no parking ought to be back to front. So it's been flipped so that the, the writing is the right-hand side. So it's a minimalist mono work which reflects the specification and, and is in contrast with almost everything else we've seen this evening. So I quite like that one. I would personally have cropped it a bit on the right. I actually might have taken the whole of that, that light bit of the building out and just had the... Just had it as, a, as an almost as a square, but it is it's graphically very strong. It's not very landscapey. Not very landscapey. I grant you that it's not very landscapey, but I, I, it's still a strong image. Not portrait. Is it though. turban? Good question. It could be anywhere. <laughs> oh.
Awesome. Yeah, but this is um, this is a beautiful photograph, and it's a lovely view, and the sky is stunning, and the colours are good, and it's all sharp. Is it urban? Yeah, I guess yeah. it is. It shows. I wouldn't call that urban personally. Mm, urban. I think it's a lovely picture. Yeah, but I'm not sure. It's not very urban. The only it's only this little triangle of development in the left hand mm. side. It says more about countryside than urban to me, but it, I mean, it is a lovely picture. It is a beautiful picture. It is a landscape. And it is a landscape. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> and it is Houston. <laughs> or New York. But it is, no. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not urban. I think it's South End. It's a very, very nice image, but do we think it complies with the specs? It's yeah. borderline to me, but I still like it. I like it too. It's distinctly British because there's no worries part. <laughs> that was my cat mewing, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Putting his two pennies in. Did he think it was urban? He thinks everything's urban. Okay. <laughs> Susan's <Adios>. probably <laughs> Thank you so Good much. Idea. Good night, Paul. Good night. Good everything up. Take care, everybody. Bye. 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 Lorraine. Good night, everyone. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.